YouTube, what's up guys? Uh, I'm here, <laughs> right now, man, you're watching me, so you know that. Uh, to tell you how to customize your grip tape using Amgrip grip tape. But first, I'm getting coffee. JLo, Justin Lunninger, come here. Freaking, I got your iced coffee drinks, and then I got your double shot espresso things. It's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a cough, apparently. All right, uh, I'm gonna do this one. Vanilla, because I'm a 16 year old girl. Is that a stereotype? 16 year old girls in Starbucks? Either way, coffee, that's what I need. That was good. <laughs> but YouTube, I am going to show you how to customize your grip tape using Am Grip Grip Tape. Um, I ride for them, and it's uh, owned and ran by my buddy uh, Doug Destels, who's an awesome dude, a terrific skateboarder. He's pro for Revive, and uh, and I, yeah, I love the grip tape. It's a little grippier than your traditional standard grip tape, but it doesn't like cut away at your shoes too fast because with a lot of rough grip tapes, that does happen. So uh, I love it. I am actually hoping to never skate another type of grip tape ever again in my life. Right here is my first board I ever used. Am grip on and uh, a lot of people put stickers underneath I print stuff out and put it uh, below the, the, the cutout and uh, that is Ness from Earthbound it's my favorite video game ever and uh, I like to look down and see awesome things okay one time I had a t-rex with guns on its head that is I'm not joking at all totally had that and it was awesome I looked down and I was like you know what I will grind this 20 steering why not uh, so that's what I'm doing I'm showing you how to do that today I am doing red 13 from uh, Final Fantasy 7 if you know who this is you're a nerd like me my car is actually named after this dude he's a big cat that is like wise and he has fire as a tail I don't, I don't know what you can do better than that but there's not many things except maybe Chipotle but that's a whole other story all right so first things first uh, you need your am grip um, you're gonna push your cutout out okay and uh, it does it's kind of weird because it doesn't look like it's there but then you start pushing around and feeling and you're like oh that's where that's where Doug does tail is doing a switch heel flip is so uh, you push your cutouts and you actually have a pretty cool uh, grip tape sticker thing going on. We put them all over Shred Quarters. We'll do this at the end of the video. You're gonna see us putting this somewhere else. It's probably gonna involve Brian Ames. So here we go. Here's the sheet. Um, what I do is I line it up like I get this out. I, I kind of troubleshoot. I print different sizes until I find a good one. So basically push your draw, your push your print out underneath the image and kind of get it where you want it. I want this kind of crooked so you can see the face and the fire all at once. It's gonna look a little weird but uh, you know you gotta test out different images. To make this work I gotta make it go diagonal. So you're gonna find out how you want it and then take scissors. These are left-handed scissors by the way. They feel super awkward to use. Thank you Brian Ames. I don't know where mine went. So and then you're gonna cut it out and give a little safety room. Room for troubleshooting and whatnot. But you don't want to make it a, too big because you're actually preventing the grip tape from sticking in a sense. So it's never an issue unless you like do it a, a ridiculous amount. But keep that in mind. This is a big piece so when I figure out how to do it I might cut right here and here since I'm not gonna use it. In fact let's just go ahead and do this. And then I'm gonna make sure that it's still how I want it. Boom, just about like that. You're gonna wanna put tape over the, the sticker or the printout. If it's a sticker, it's already gonna have a glossy finish and be protective, but if it's a printout like this from basic printer paper, if your board gets wet randomly or you know if something were to happen, it might rip. So you're gonna wanna put this over it so it's got a little protection and it can live through whatever happens to your skateboard. Just to be safe, I'm gonna cut the extra tape away so it's not taking up any more space. With Brian's stupid left hand scissors, it's not gonna work, so I'm using a razor blade real fast. All right, so I have my sticker that has the tape protecting it. I do not need my scissors. I really don't need these scissors, uh, and I do not need my tape anymore. Now you get to apply it to the bottom of the grip tape, and that's the hardest part of all of this is getting the sticker aligned right with that. Um, so if you actually have a friend to help you with this, it's easier, but I've done it by myself before and it made it look all right, so uh, fear not, okay? If you're friendless, don't worry, I've been there before. You need to find the edge of a service. This is how I do it, and there very well might be a better way of doing this in general, uh, but this works for me. This is the way to do it friendless, okay? So you're gonna put the grip tape on the edge right here, so it kind of holds it for you. Hover over it and see where you want it, and then you're gonna throw it down. And if you have a friend, they can hold this side too, so like you don't actually have to hold the grip tape at all, and you can just worry about that. That's the best way to do it. Don't hit it too hard because if you need to take it back like I just did right there, if you pressed it to the tape too much, sometime it won't go. So just be careful. This is okay. I kind of wanted more of him, his face over here with his body, but uh, depending on what you print out, um, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder, and I kind of wanted his leg right there. But either way, I have his face. I'm gonna look down and be like, that's Red 13, he has a fire tail. I can freaking hard flip now, okay? And I can't actually hard flip that well, but I might be able to now, we'll see, I don't know. Right, now push it back over and kind of rub it in to your grip tape. Get your skateboard. This is an 8.0 X-ray uh, chest graphic. Sam Fluharty designed this. Good job, Sam Fluharty, you rock. 
then you're going to apply your grip tape just like you normally do. But the only thing when you're applying this is make sure you apply the, the back, the end of this, like this is your tail side, as close to the edge as possible. That's way the, the am grip graphic is away from the bolts. I've made that mistake where the bolts are too close and it kind of like, it pushes the paper up with it because you di I didn't cut enough away on my uh, my sticker or printout or whatever you're gonna call it. But uh, if you just put the grip tape right up to the edge of the skateboard, you're gonna be fine and the world is gonna keep rotating. It's a good thing. Like. People in Australia should probably thank you. Like, hey, good job, you didn't blow up the world by sucking at AM grip. Now I'm doing this thing, which kind of, it removes air bubbles, but when you think about it, air bubbles don't actually matter because no one has ever missed a trick. Like, man, I can't three flip because of my air bubble. That, just, that will not happen. It, it has never happened unless you have an air mountain in your grip tape. So I don't really care about air bubbles, but I do this just in case there's some big ones in there. Now you're gonna score your grip tape. This makes it easier to cut around it with a razor blade. All right, so now that you've had it scored, you're just gonna take a razor blade, whatever utility knife that you use, and safely cut it, the grip tape away from your skateboard. If you're a young dude that doesn't handle razor blades a lot, have your parent do it, or have your uncle, you know, or that neighbor that your, your parents are friends with, that your whole family trusts, maybe he can do it, I don't know. But if you don't trust him, don't have him do it. That's just weird. Not judging your neighbor at all, but I don't know, you know? This day and age makes you paranoid about everything. And after Family Guy, who knows what your neighbor's like. Break off a piece of grip tape and scratch the edge down. That hurt. And voila, you have customized grip tape, okay? I have Red 13, you can put whatever you want on there. I did Mario before this, I've done Iron Man, the T-Rex with guns on his head from Banner Riders, but it's really cool. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's just kind of nice looking down and seeing something that you're psyched on. It kind of makes you more excited to be skating on your skateboard. So there you guys go. I'm gonna put my skateboard together and I'll do a few tricks for you, but that is how you customize your grip tape using Am Grape, Am Grape, freaking grapes. I hope this video helped you in some sort. But uh, just to give you a heads up on my setup, I have Orion trucks, I have force wheels, I have uh, synopsis bearings, and uh, then I have some prototype revive hardware. Uh, don't look at the sticker and think that's how it's gonna look, but one day we're gonna have this stuff, so that's it. Oh, and this skateboard, pay attention to this skateboard because one day this skateboard is gonna come back to be relevant in my videos and uh, in the revive world. So be on the lookout for that. Let's cut to some skateboarding. I'm gonna do the kickflip test, which is where you do a kickflip, and if you land it first try, it's gonna be a good skateboard. That's how you tell. All right. This is also my first movement of the day. So there we go. Board feels good. Grip tape looks awesome. I hope you guys dug this video. I hope it helped you for everyone that kind of wonders ah, what's the best way of going about doing this. But uh, that is how I do it. And if you want to pick up a sheet of this, we have it at our online store, theshredquarters.com. And also, uh, some skate shops are starting to carry it. If yours doesn't, just ask them to order some and then contact us. We can uh, get some grip tape to them. But uh, to end this video, we're going to do a little bit of water cooler baseball, okay? Here, have this. Pitch it at me, aka roll it at me. This is what you do use a, a used skateboard for. Out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> and uh, I have no head. <laughs>Hey, remember that one time I said we were gonna use that grip tape sticker? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get Brian Ames' chair right here. And we're gonna put it upside down on it so when he sits down next time, he's gonna have a grip tape sticker on his butt. And there you go, Brian Ames. That is why you have Doug Desitels doing a kickflip that he's not gonna land. Or switch heel flip, whatever he's doing, on your butt. <laughs> it's gonna work perfect. It's gonna work so good.